Hey, you guys want to know what video I think always looks really cool, but I've never actually done for myself? A five-star prediction video. Let's do it. Ow. Let's do it. <sighs> yeah. I've just got freaking LaCroix everywhere. Hi, my name is Michael Nip, and this is where I predict some books in my TBR that I think I'm going to rate five stars. Not that long ago in the past, I made this video where I talked about how I rate a lot of books positively because I generally only pick books to read that I think I'm going to love. That's true. I rate a lot of books four and five stars. This is going to be no exception, but these are books that are specifically interesting to me. I think I'm going to love them based on what I've heard other people say or just like what I feel in my own heart. Any of you that have been around for a while probably are starting to understand my reading taste, so you can go ahead and critique me. Do you think I'm actually gonna like the books that I talk about in this video? Let's see, let me know in the comments down below. The first book that I think I'm gonna love and I'm gonna give five stars to is this book. It's called The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Now this is a series that isn't finished. It's a series that only has two books and I've heard a lot of negative takes on the second book compared to the first one. But here are the reasons that I think The Name of the Wind sounds interesting. Number one, I've heard the prose is incredibly beautiful. I've heard that from everybody, even people that don't love the series. Number two, because the prose is so beautiful, I've heard that this is a very wonderful world to explore. I've also heard a lot of comparisons to Robin Hobb, whose prose I love and her like world building, character focused storylines, things I love. I think I'm going to love this book, but on top of all of that, I also think I'm going to love this book because the man who wrote it, his name is Patrick Rothfuss. It's on the, the big part of the book here. He hasn't written a book in a very long time, but he has become an expert troll at teasing people like he's really working on this book when there's an extreme possibility that he has no intention on releasing the third one. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. But I love the way that every time anything around Patrick Rothfuss comes up, people that want the book either flip out because they're excited or get mad because they've been burned for so very long. And I just have to respect that kind of troll game. Like at this point, Rothfuss keeps releasing videos or being in interviews where he talks about things, getting people a little hype, like just getting those little headline teasers. But I just, it doesn't seem like he has any indication that the book is going to be finished anytime soon. As someone that enjoys friendly trolling on the internet, as a lot of people who have ever talked to me on Discord may attest to. I just, game has to respect game. The next book that I'm gonna be talking about in this video is called The Atlantis Gene, which I am planning on reading in, what next, what is next month? April? In April. This book is by A.G. Riddle, and I have loved all of the other A.G. Riddle books that I have read. I think this is his first trilogy. It's probably gonna be a science fiction thriller. The whole series is called The Origin Mystery. And yeah, I think I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna be buddy reading it, hopefully, with my friend Leslie over at The Nerdy Narrative and I don't know anything much about it except that it probably has something to do with the mystery of origins. Duh, that's the name of the title. But also, this is one of the A.G. Riddle books that I actually get advertised to me on my Kindle ads or whatever all the time. And I know that a lot of people do love this one. And since I am such a stan of his other work, I think I'm probably going to love this trilogy as well. Next up on my list of five-star predictions is this book called Gardens of the Moon, which is the first book in the Malazan series, Malazan Book of the Fallen. I hate the way that Malazan is supposed to be pronounced. I think Malazan sounds so much more fantasy-like, and frankly, my father, who has a very strong Southern Ohio accent, it sounds like the way that he would try to pronounce the name Malazan if he saw it on paper. Malazan, it just makes me uncomfortable every time I say it. I'm not alone. A lot of people say the same thing. But the thing that I know about this series is that it's incredibly hard to describe because it's just so epic in scope. It like attempts to be so much bigger and, and badder than any other series that I think I can think of. And every time I hear Andy Smith talk about Malazan, I'm completely surprised by something else that somehow has worked its way into that series. It just, it seems like chaos in the best or worst way. And in the video I made recently where I talked about loving Gunslinger's complete disregard for normalcy and its storytelling plot and uh, scope and whatever, everyone it was like, hey, have you ever heard of Malazan, Book of the Fallen? And I'm like, yes, I have. And everything that you guys are saying about that series just makes me want to check it out more. Erickson, the author, seems to be the type of person who says, this is the story I'm going to tell, and screw y'all if you don't like it. I'm not going to cater to you. And 
I appreciate that boldness. I've, I've said it before. I'll say it again. Sometimes I just want a creator to be that crazy. Next up, there's this book called The Blade Itself. It's by this guy named Joe Abercrombie and Fitch. I like girls that wear Abercrombie and Fitch. The Blade Itself is described as the grim dark for people that don't like grim dark. I'm going to take this opportunity to derail this entire video and ask a question. What the frick is grim dark? This is a conversation that I've had on my Discord many times where everyone talks about this term called grim dark and everyone's like, "Oh, this guy's name is Lord Grimdark." I think it's his Twitter handle, Joe Abercrombie, is called Lord Grimdark. It's supposed to be this like extremely gray morality of the characters in this dark world and you're supposed to like like characters that aren't good and it's not all about like the hero just coming in and saving the day. It's about this like oppressive everything and every time I ask if a book is grimdark most people are like no that's not grimdark and I just maybe I have never read grimdark and maybe I don't know what grimdark is or maybe grimdark is just the way that you feel when you read something maybe grimdark is all of us when I read Raid of Dragons, that one book by Evan Winter, the entire structure of the entire society was built like against the protagonist and everything in that world sucks. And I was like, this, surely this is grimdark. And people were like, nah, this isn't grimdark. I've also seen videos by like prominent booktubers on this platform that say things like the lies of Locke Lamora are grimdark, but that doesn't make me feel that way. What is grimdark? Can no one answer me? I don't think this is an established genre. Like we can say this book is fantasy. We can say this book is sci-fi. I really think that grimdark is just a very personal opinion. Either Grimdark is just a personal opinion, or A Song of Ice and Fire is the only Grimdark series in existence. I don't think that's true. Some people say the later Red Rising books are Grimdark. I don't know. Anyway, the blade itself seems awesome. The prose in those books seems extremely uh, potent. Like, it's very effective at doing what it's trying to do. It seems very good at, like, cr establishing character. And the main criticism, like, the only criticism, really, that I've heard against the First Law Trilogy is that it focuses mostly on character and not as much on plot, which is not something that usually bothers me. The book Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo is another book that a lot of people said doesn't really have a lot of plot, but I felt like the plot was very, like, present the whole time. I've also been known for being, like, the guy in my friend circle that's okay reading some slow stuff so I just don't think that criticism is going to probably be something that bothers me I think I'm probably just going to like the book but hey you never know but this is my five star prediction video so will it be grimdark I don't know but will I give it five stars I hope so I probably will what do you guys think leave a comment please the next book is I Am Not a Serial Killer by some guy, I think his name is Dan Wells. I don't know very much about this book except one, I know that it's written by Dan Wells who is a friend of Brandon Sanderson. I know two, it seems like it's a psychological thriller of which I think I've loved a good number of those in my past. And three, the very few people that I know that have read it absolutely love it and strongly recommend it. And all these things combined make me want to know what it is. I don't know anything about it. I'm the type of person that knows very little about things that I want to read or watch going in. Like as if I'm watching a trailer or if I'm reading a synopsis for a book and I find out that I want to partake of said th said book or said medium or whatever, I will stop the trailer where it is and be like, okay, I'm gonna watch this movie. I don't need to watch the rest of this trailer. I don't want it to tell me anything else. So when it comes to things like I am not a serial killer, I'm guessing it's about a person who's either struggling with serial killing urges or maybe it's like a memory loss type situation. I don't know. Both of those sound cool to me, but I don't want the synopsis to give me some kind of like, I don't mind getting the chapter one of a book and considering that a potential spoiler. Cause if you go in knowing nothing, Everything is a, a plot twist, I guess. And the last book that I have to talk about in this video is called Rabbits by Terry Miles. Now, people that have seen this one video that I put out a long time ago, back when I didn't have very many subscribers, where I talked about my love for audio dramas may recognize that name because Rabbits is the name of one of my favorite audio dramas of all time. Rabbits is the name of an augmented reality game, which I realized that like that term is not super known, but an 
augmented reality game is basically like a multimedia scavenger hunt. But in the world of rabbits, there is this augmented reality game that's all about, um, well, it, it's mysterious, but it, it involves traveling potentially globally to try to find these different clues and seek out what's going on in the game. It's very like kind of cyberpunky, but it takes place in the modern world, but it it freaking goes places in all of the ways that I love. I love rabbits so much. And unlike many of my favorite audio dramas, it's actually very succinct and it ends in an epic and awesome way. I don't know if Rabbits the Novel is supposed to be a sequel to that original thing or a retelling of that original audio drama, but either way, I am such a fan of this idea and this world and the previous execution that we had that I have to partake anything in the Rabbits world. Terry Miles is a guy that makes an entire like connected universe of podcasts of which Rabbit is one of them. I love all of those, so I'm sort of a sucker for trying to digest anything that takes place within that connected world. Rabbit sounds awesome. I'm probably going to give it five stars. You should go check out the Rabbit's audio drama and any of the other audio dramas in that world. If you're familiar with that set of audio dramas, please let me know in the comments down below because I need more friends that understand the Pacific Northwest stories, Minnow Beats, Whale, world. But that is my list of these like five star prediction books that I have. I have lots and lots of books that I think I'm going to love, but there's like some that I think I'm going to love four stars. There's some that's like, I may love the series as a whole, but I may not love like the book five stars. For me, those books all sound like they are right up my alley. They sound like they are my jam. And so I will report back to you at some time in the unknown future once I have read those books and see how good I was at predicting my own five star tasteness, whatever that is. Do any of these books sound interesting to you? Do you think I am going to like or hate any number of these books? Did you like this video? Please leave a thumbs up on it. If you wanna see the conclusion of this as well as any other book thoughts I have, please remember to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you'd like to have discussions with me or any of the friends that I've happened to make while doing this sort of booktube journey, there is a link to a Discord down below and I would love to have you join and have conversations with us there. If you'd like to support this channel financially so I could continue to feed this book obsession that I've developed, there's a link down below to a Patreon as well as a link to a merch store. I'm looking forward to just reading banger after banger and I would love to have you along for the ride. I can't wait to see you again. Until next time, goodbye. Always looking out tired sleep. No one ever get enough. If I don't show up, I might get fired sleep. No one ever get enough. Always looking out tired sleep. No one ever get enough. If I don't show up, I might get fired.